Pop squat. Go. Uh, I had some really kind of surprising news last night. Apparently, Summers, uh, who's a big underground hip hop guy, if you're not familiar, uh, shared a pic of him watching some of my reactions to his music, and uh, he had a nice thing to say about it. Uh, he and I traded a couple of messages on Instagram real quick. Uh, he followed me, I followed him, and uh, he left some comments on a... Actually, I think it was one of the videos from yesterday, but uh, maybe it was... Maybe I'm misremembering it. It was one of the videos that he watched. But uh, So that was pretty cool. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you're just like, oh, what, is, what else does this guy listen to? You're gonna get a bunch of weird stuff today because most of this is um kind of unknown artists uh guys who are making their way coming up uh got one travis scott video i'm gonna do a little bit later but uh we're gonna start off with eurostar which is a funny name to me because <laughs> eurostar is the name of a villain group in the champions role-playing game that i used to play in college and high school and uh God, I play that game so much. Uh, with tabletop role-playing game like Dungeons and Dragons, but with superheroes. Uh, anyway, Eurostar is a Swiss-based artist, part of the audiovisual collective Castle Five. Uh, sorry, Castle Five Stars. Castle Stars. Uh, Euro started releasing music on SoundCloud in 2021. Oh, so very recently, and has continued releasing two EPs on streaming platforms during the year 2022, with more coming throughout the year. So this is Eurostar, and uh, I am down to check this out. It looks like most of his listeners, of which, I mean, on Spotify, it's not a huge number, 44 monthly listeners or something like that, uh, are in Europe. But uh, I'll link to what he's got here. So he's got SoundCloud and Spotify. So I will include those links down below if you like what you hear and you want to hear more. Um, and you can check out uh, what his other music sounds like. Uh, Euro contacted me in email and said, hey, I'd love you to check out my stuff. This is a track called Champs-Elysees, which I assume is after uh, the Champs-Elysees in Paris. And uh, I'm down to check this out. Three minutes, 19 seconds. I have zero clue what this is going to be like. Uh, he asked me to react to it because uh, he's a young guy making music. He wants to get some exposure, and I'm like, Hell yeah, let's do it. So here's Eurostar with uh, Champs-Élysées. Please leave some comments or give them some thumbs up below if you like what you hear. And uh, let's go. See, can you smoke it? Can you just spark it in here? Good. Good joint. You're moving like a fan If there's no pink or a green or more Okay, so I gotta take a second here because I did not think to look to see if I could find lyrics for this. And the lyrics are very, very slowed, obviously altered technologically. And uh, Eurostar lyrics. Because I am very curious. Hey, yes, it is on Genius. All right, awesome. So let's back up a little bit because I, I, I want to get as much of a sense of this as possible to see like why it's slowed down like that. What is the point? Is it supposed, are we supposed to feel weirdly altered and slowed and is it supposed to feel drunk and stoned and whatever? Or is this just a little bit of an intro and then he's going to speed things up? No clue. See, can you smoke it? Can you just spark it in here? Good. Good joint. So 
it's interesting because the the early part of the song is so slowed down. Like I was talking about, it's uh, the little intro section says, "You moving like a fed. If there's no pink or green, I'll pour red, pour red. I got to go outside." And then he says, "There's some lyrics in French that basically mean I need to get some fresh air or some new ideas." Um, and then he says, "Walks on the Champs, uh, walk on the Champs Elysees. I'm a dickhead. Break up with her on her B day." walk on the Champs-Élysées, what you thought, and then that's when things change in the song and it becomes much more sped up. Uh, it doesn't have that slowed sort of effect on his voice. Um, so I wondered if that was only going to be for a short part of the song, and it turns out that it is. And then it speeds up and he's starting to talk about more stuff with the song and I'm wondering if this is supposed to reflect him going outside and getting some fresh air and coming up with some fresh ideas and it's also kind of waking him up a little bit watch your watch your fire they all smoke a lot run up in the car smoke up in the parking lot Watch you die, you're gonna see you die I'm tryna stop cigarettes, only smoke pie Only portraits, yeah I might forget But I never forget She going for a kiss Need me some alone, tell my need to focus You're moving like a fan If there's no pink or a green, I'll pour it Pour it I'ma make mistakes, baby, I'm still learning I, I get this feeling in my soul, it's like burning I'ma make mistakes, baby I'm So I think that part was actually kind of interesting uh, I'm gonna probably back up more than I need to, but there's a part here where he's rapping, I, I guess this is a rap song, rapping over the beat and it doesn't quite match to the beat and yet it works perfectly well, but I found myself trying to like kind of nod along to it and I was like, nope, that is not at all what's happening there. So kind of, kind of interesting. Walk on the shots and I'ma make mistakes, baby, I'm still learning I, I get this feeling in my soul, it's like burning I'ma make mistakes, baby, I'm still learning Unemployment money, you thought I was working Fuck up with the energy, drink no bourbon Fuck up with the energy, I don't need that energy I don't need that energy, do me like I'm Kennedy Do me like I'm JFK, I don't need it anyway I can get it every way, I can get it every day Moving like a fan, if there's no pink or green, I'll pour it. Pour it. I gotta go outside, faut que je me change des idées. Walk on the Champs Elysees, I'm a dickhead, break up with her on the beat. Walk on the Champs Elysees. I love the saxophone he's got going on in the background here. The music itself is really pretty cool. Definitely get a little bit of a, a plug or plug-in B feel to some extent. I, I'm looking at the credits right now. It's just labeled as rap, but I, I, I don't know what else this should be considered, what other tags it ought to have. Because it's it's obviously not just just a rap song. I mean, it has, there's a lot of influences coming in here, and, and I, I am picking up on some of them, and I just don't know enough to be able to actually say Bleh, this is what it is um but it is really interesting and i i love that saxophone the inclusion of that it's it just puts you in this sort of like calm almost club like jazz club sort of feel to it it's it's a it's a really nice effect <laughs>
Maybe if you hurt I don't know. Maybe go with this shit. It's not working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, interesting. I would absolutely listen to more. I, I, the horn is probably my favorite part of that, and I also really like the uh, the slowed down part in the beginning that then switches into something different because it it tells me they're doing something different. Like they're thinking about how they want to present the song as a whole. It's not just sit down, make a song, go, make a song, go, make a song, go. It sounds very cool. Um, not a hundred percent sure what else he's talking about or what the situation is that he's talking about other than he's a dickhead for breaking up with her on his on her birthday uh he's still gonna make mistakes he's on uh, spending unemployment money and she thought he was working he's obviously going out drinking <laughs> vodka with energy drink no bourbon vodka with the energy i don't need that energy <laughs> um but it sounds it sounds interesting. It, it has its own sound, which I like, and uh, and I love the horn. Absolutely love the horn. So, uh, Euro, uh, good stuff. Send me some more. I'm curious. I'm curious what else you got, and show me what you got. And uh, there you go. I'm gonna move on and do some more music. But I am glad you sent this to me. Thank you very much, Pop Squat. <gasps> Checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, oh, I did another video earlier. I went through the records that I found in my spare room. It's not spare. I'm trying to make it an actual bedroom. Uh, but I found my records from when I was a teenager and kind of went through and talked about those. So if you're curious about the stuff I listened to uh, on vinyl when I was a teenager, uh, mostly did cassettes and DVD, uh, CDs, but, uh, you know, there you go. CDs wasn't until, God, almost college. Um, there you go. Go watch that video. It's from earlier today. Bye-bye.